guys, how are you? We are switching things up tonight. Here, I'm here with my wonderful children, my wonderful disciples, Brianna and Braylin. We have on fellowship attires. I'm so blessed, humbled, and honored to be able to spend this time at home with my children, you know? This was the first week of school, so I got to sit through coloring, through drawing, through um, eating, through learning with Brilliant, I couldn't be any more happier. Um, so tonight we are coming to you to do a Bible study on the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. So let's pray first, children, before our Bible study. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lead us. Repeat after me. Lead us. Yeah. Give us your knowledge. Give us your understanding. Let us retain your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So before we look at that verse, we're going to go back to um, the book of Exodus. Brianna, what other books of the Bible that you know? The first 20 books of the Bible. Can you please tell me? Be loud and clear. Job. I'm so proud of you. Give me a high five. So before we move further again to the Bible first, we're going to go to the Ten Commandments so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Brianna, what are the Ten Commandments? I'm so impressed with you. So we're going to go dive into the Ten Commandments first. Will you repeat after me? Um, Those shall not, those shall not have, have any, any other uh, God uh, before me. Before. That means that you cannot love anything or anybody before God. You cannot love your shoes more than God. You cannot love your friends more than God. You cannot love your room more than God. You cannot love food more than God. You understand? The second one is, um, thou shall not have any graven image. Thou yeah. shall yeah. Uh, make, make any graven image. Mm -hmm. So it means that you cannot worship anything or anyone before God. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. The third one is, thou, repeat, thou, thou. shall yeah. not yeah. use mm -hmm. The name of the Lord in vain. Mm -hmm. It means you cannot curse. You cannot. People say, "Ah, oh, uh, swear." You cannot swear. You cannot swear. That's what it means. For it says, "Remember mm -hmm. to keep okay. the Sabbath holy." Okay. It means you work six days. It took God six days to create the whole earth. So God wants us to work six days, it doesn't matter. You count from the first day you start working, you start counting six days. Then the seventh day, God wants you to rest. That's what it means. Five, yeah. honor, honor thy father yeah. and thy mother. Yeah. It means you respect your mom, you respect your dad. So when your dad or your mom speaks, you listen to them because you love them. That's most important because God is telling you that. And you want to be good in the eyes of God. So the number six is, thou shall not kill. You don't kill anybody. It's about me. Seven is, thou 
shall not commit adultery. To commit adultery means to be with somebody who is not yours. That's what it is. Eight, that shall not steal. To steal is to take something that's not for, for you, okay? Nine, thou shall not bear false witness. Thou shall not bear false witness against the neighbor. It means you don't lie against your neighbor. Ten, thou shall not have it against your neighbor's belongings or his servants. So you don't, or his wife, or his wife. Yeah, so you don't steal from your neighbor, not his servants, not his wife, not what anything it was. So I taught you that to explain to you what the verse means. Now let's go to Nehemiah 8, 10. Loud and clear, Brianna. Can you please read the last part? Four. Yeah, loud. The day is hard. For the... Ten here for the joy. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. So that scriptures mean joy means it's a state of mind that God gives you. It doesn't matter what's going around you. You are always happy. You have a pretty smile. You are bubbly. You are cheerful. That's what joy means. Strength means you have a lot of energy, a lot of energy, a lot of energy. So what the scripture means is like. The joy of the Lord. What is the joy of the Lord? The joy of the Lord is doing His commandment. We just went over the Ten Commandments, right? So every time you are doing the Ten Commandments, you are living by the Ten Commandments, you are loving others, you are not worshiping anybody. Every time you are doing each and every one of the commandments, He's asking you. It, shall, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what else is going around, okay? Your only focus should be to please God, not anybody or anything but God. Once you please God when you are doing that and you know that God is happy with you, that's your strength. So every day when you go, you're not stealing, even though, you know, you have temptation, you see something, you want to take it, but you don't do that because you remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. When, when, when you are doing the right thing, it makes joy of God happy, and that gives you strength to go through life. You understand that scripture now? Yes? Do you understand, Rihanna? Okay. And also, I want to go back to the Ten Commandments. And for every one of them, he said, Thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not. But for two of them, he didn't say thou shall not. Thou shall not is God being polite. For two of them, he said, the first one was remember to keep the Sabbath holy. He's giving authority, he's giving power. He's not asking us for our opinion. He's not being as polite as before. And the second one, remember, sorry, the first one was remember to keep the Sabbath holy. The second one is honor that father and that mother. So you pay close attention to these two because he's giving an instruction. He's being firm. He's being decisive around about it. So how did you like the Bible study? Good. Do you have any comments? No, but mm -hmm. yes, but the, the, the commandment, the day to keep the Sabbath holy is for. Exactly, but for everything before that, he said, thou shall not, you should not. But when he said, remember, remember is an instruction. Remember is an instruction. Honor the father and the mother is an instruction. It doesn't say, you should. He just says, remember. That's what I was do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Do you understand, Brandon? Okay, let's, let's do the closing prayer before you fall asleep here. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful Bible study. We lift it up to you. We seal it in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you open our eyes to wondrous things, to see your love. We confess that we are sinners and nothing but the blood of Jesus can wash away our sins. We thank you for the first of many Bible studies. We thank you that we are learning, retaining, and spreading the word for your glory's sake. In all we seek to bring you glory in Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. amen.